Hey guys, this is Eric with another Eric Hipperly Designs tutorial. In our last video, we showed you how to um, save a website via the Internet Archive Wayback Machine, also known as archive.org. <clears throat> so, what I'm going to do in this video is give you a tour of my website, ericheperly.com, and show you how it has evolved over time and how you can. Uh, refer to how your website or any website used to look by using the wake back machine so this is what it looks like today November 1st 2018 yeah. so we've got this little uh, RSS feed situation down at the bottom we got a visitor counter we got popular categories but let me show you what it looked like when I first became aware of the Wayback Machine and started archiving things. Let's see, if you click on this part right here, this is 16 captures, <clears throat> you know, whatever website you're on will say something different, I'm sure. It will give you kind of like a zoom in, and then you can click by any year, and any year that you want to visit, Wherever there's these blue dots, those are the dates that there are archives. So we'll go to 2010. <clears throat> Let's see, I bought the ericheperly.com domain around uh, between 2008 and 2009, somewhere in there. And in 2010 was when I first learned about the Internet Archive and that I was able to archive my own website. So let's see. If I click there, are there any blue dots? There's one. There we go. So click on it. <clears throat> and there you go. Now you can see this was a one page website. Um, it was just basic. This was before I understood SEO. And I just set it up with some basic CSS, crystal balls social networking site and that'll take you to a MySpace I believe oh my goodness my old Wolf's Technology Tabernacle well, that was interesting see it tried to go to a website that no longer exists and it has that in the archive okay so what if I want to go look at that Wolf's Technology Tabernacle. That was the name of a website I used to run. I just thought it sounded unique and cool, and it was something that could be uh, sort of trademarked, and most people wouldn't come up with it on their own. Huh. That's interesting. All right. So it'll find it, but in this case it didn't. So now what we're going to do, well, what about Crystal Ball Dude's blog? Where's that at? Crystalballdude.wordpress.com. Now this website still exists, but I have it set as private. Because there's things in there that I, uh, let's just say I'm not proud of. Um, oh, very cool. There's some coding stuff I forgot that I did. I'll have to see if I can merge that into my current. But you see, this is how it can be valuable. You can find things that you didn't know, that you forgot about, that maybe you changed over time. And then uh, I've also got a profile on this website called ImageKind. Okay, so the Wayback Machine says it wasn't able to, to load it, so it's going to redirect. And here we go. And if I go to Gallery, hmm, that page is not available on the web. But well, we're not going to save that right now. 
but like I showed you in the last video, you certainly could. Let's see Eric's eBay website. Now we're not going to go to every link, but since there's not very many links on this original website, let's see Eric's eBay website doesn't really exist anymore. Okay, please don't click below if you are under 18 years old. That makes you think that it's like porn or something, but it's not. Uh, what that was was really my idea of, I guess, marketing. It's like, okay, usually when it says don't click if you're under 18, it's because there's something, you know, taboo around the corner. And so people are going to be more wanting to click it. So I said, okay, if I put that there, people will be more wanting to click. Um, and then this is just a Google search, custom Google search bar that I put in. Let's see if it still works. That'll be curious. Okay. Let's see. EricHepperly.com. Let's try that. Okay. So see, it tried to search but that functionality wasn't quite available. Now, like we showed you in the last one, the last one, it saves outgoing links, um, probably through one level or something. But so that's this page. So why does this page look this way? Because I just built a simple one-page HTML web page to act as a mm, sort of place marker. Uh, or hub, if you will, to other places that I was more frequently on. See, the social Crystal Ball Dude social networking site, which is actually uh, Wolf's Technology Tabernacle, was a, a website that, that I used to do most of my stuff on when I was first starting to put my stuff on the Internet. So then what happened? That's 2010. 2011, I moved to Panama City, Florida, and I didn't archive my website. 2012, I archived my website again after I changed it. So what I did was I changed it to be kind of something I could point um, recruiters and, uh, um, you know, people, with potential employers and stuff who are looking to see what my skills are. So these are like little tests that I did. This is, this is a static HTML page. So if I click this constitutional preamble. Let's see what comes up. Pause it. Okay, this is a form that I made um, based on learning how to make forms in the headfirst HTML book. Um, I think it might have been a PHP in my SQL book, actually. So let's see if it works. Because this form is no longer on my website anymore. Let's see, we the people of the United States, in order to form a more perfect union, establish justice, I think, and then prov ensure tranquility. Provide for the common defense, promote the general welfare, and secure the peace. I don't know if that's right. I'm just going to put that in there. To ourselves and families. To ordain and establish this constitution for the United States of America. And let's check answers. If check answers works, then that means that Wayback Machine stored the database. Okay, so the Wayback Machine did not store the database. So it'll store forms, it'll store HTML, but it won't store uh, the databases uh, necessarily. What does home bring you to? Brings you right back there. That was in the wrong place. Okay. So what about the Iowa Buddhist Center? Well, there was no such thing as the Iowa Buddhist Center. This was a, a kind of a side project I made to demonstrate my web design skills, but it did not keep the uh, CSS page. Uh, Demons Database was something I was making um, 
that would allow you to enter in information about demons then you could scroll through I mean I called it demons database but you were going to be able to enter in anything that was kind of like Dungeons and Dragons well, what about Viking pump what's that let's see mm-hmm that was a PHP website I was making as a uh, side project I never finished it because uh, well, they just didn't pay me, basically. And then here's stuff from a tutorial also. All right, so let's see. Well, then 2013 I did one. Okay. What's this? Archive index. So, so in 2013, this is one way. And see, this shows you 2013. I can drill down and I can go to individual dates or times and each one of these represents a different date and this is for the arc index folder and what's in there so HTML files see it didn't back that up but it backed up Excuse me what this page looks like mm -hmm. so it only goes one page out unless you tell it to to back up out links okay so that's what that is and CSS there's docs fonts images info so let's try info PHP let's see if PHP files run now I don't know if that's actually processing PHP or if that's Chances are it's just getting the HTML of what that page looked like. PHP info is the same thing. Personal projects, let's see. Three column test. This was a CSS project I was working on. Uh, let's try list manager. Okay, so that's not there. So, this is weed list. It's not there. All right, so we'll go ahead and skip out of there then. Or we can move up there. Projects. Yeah. All right. We'll get out of there. And we'll see what about professional projects. NBC. That's not by change. That was my band. It did not get those. Okay. So we'll assume that it didn't get the rest of that. <clears throat> and we'll just scoot back to where we were. So that was uh, 2013. I had moved to Oregon. Okay. So let's check out what we got in 2014. 2014, we still have this... Um, Right there, okay. How about 2015? In 2015, I wasn't doing anything with my website. It was just this list of projects. 2016, I changed it. I had learned advanced CSS, so I created this basic sort of skeleton. And you see the blog doesn't really have too much, but this was, I was implementing some CSS, and here's photos, a uh, photo gallery that I made with a custom uh, framework setting. Here's a cool photo. This was me outside of the devastation after uh, the tornado in Parkersburg, Iowa. And let's see, resume, here's an old version of my resume. Nope, under construction. And then here's a comments form that I made. So, well, that's going to be all for now, folks. You can see what it looks like to go through those. Give it a try yourself. Archive your website or go to Google or something like that. And just play with the Wayback Machine a little bit. You'll be glad you did. Uh, just don't save anything you wouldn't want the, anybody to be able to see years from now. All right. Have a great day.